in the world is Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And one of these people could find her. Daniel Buxbaum. Keisha Belenfanti. Dupreet Durham. Today's episode, It's the Pits. And this is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Oh my God. Hi guys, how are you? Good. Ready to get started? Yeah. All right, let's get the chief up here on the monitor. Chief, you there? I'm here, Greg. Oh, Greg, could you get me in there? There you go. You're good now. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I just, I hit the knob. Sorry. Let's try All that right. Again. No, no. There you go. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, that gives me a headache when you do that. Okay, gumshoes. Carmen San Diego and her cadre of creepy crooks have struck again. This time, they pilfered the La Brea tar pits located in Los Angeles, California. Now, these natural pools of asphalt were formed over one million years ago. Many prehistoric animals became trapped in their sticky depths where their remains were perfectly preserved. Now, this morning, Top Grunt, that slimy swine, skidded up to the pits and swiped them. He plans to wear the bison bones and use the asphalt to build an intercontinental speedway. Top Grunge. Only his stench is more foul than his deeds. All right, gumshoes, your mission. Snag the grungy one, return the pits, and then capture Carmen San Diego. Greg. Thanks, Chief. All right, Gumshoes, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then go on to the next round, okay? Chief, let's get started. All right, here's what we know so far. He's planning to pave over the world's first national park. He wants to do wheelies off the Rockies and plug up Old Faithful. Put the bite on them, Gumshoes. Greg. Thanks, Chief. All right, Gumshoes, name the national park where Top Grunge is headed. Is it Yosemite, Yellowstone, or Glacier? Remember the clues that we heard from the Chief? World's first national park, the Rockies, and Old Faithful. Looks like everybody's ready. Daniel, we'll start with you. What do you say? Yellowstone. Yellowstone. What do you think, Keisha? Yellowstone. Yellowstone. What do you think, Capri? Yosemite. Yosemite. The answer we're looking for is Yellowstone. Nice job, Daniel and Keisha. So that means Daniel and Keisha, you both have 60. Gapreet, you have 50. Nice job, everybody. Now, before we get too far into the chase, let's find out a little bit more about you guys, all right? Daniel, uh, I understand you're a collector, right? Yeah, I collect baseball cards. Really? What's your favorite? Um, my Ryan Sandberg rookie card. And how, why do you like that one so much? Because it's worth the most. <laughs> I see. And how much is it worth? $50. 50 bucks. Not bad. Okay, nice to have you on the case. Keisha, uh, your family's from Jamaica. Yeah, um, we recently went there for a visit, and we visited Kingston, and we also went to Oterios, where we climbed the waterfall. That's great, great. Great to have you on the case. Capreet, I understand that you're writing a novel, right? Yeah, I'm writing a novel about, uh, for the school, and it's also for fun, too. What's, what's it about? It's about this boy whose parents went away, and his babysitter, and he gets babysitted by a babysitter, and then his parents come back, and then babysitter dies. Oh, my goodness. Really, the babysitter dies. Yeah. Babysitters of America will be glad to read this book. Good. Sounds good, though. Sounds nice. Now, I also understand that there's a uh, religious significance to the cloth that's on your head. Can you tell yeah, us about that? Yeah, it's to, to, like, protect the hair. Really? Okay. Uh, it's, and Anything? it's, like, the, it's religious. And what religion is that? Sikh. Sikh. Okay. Well, great. It's great to have all of you on the case. Let's get started, shall we? Now, we understand that the, grudge my, the Grunge Meister was seen by this next informant headed south on a garbage scow. There's something fishy about this guy. Watch. I've seen him. He stopped for a romp in the Fresh Kills landfill, the biggest garbage dump in the world. We're talking 2,400 acres piled 175 feet high with refuse. It's on one of the islands of New York City. You know, the one with the ferry. Hope you snag him. The guy's a walking environmental crisis. Okay, Gumshoes, which New York island are we talking about? Is it Manhattan Island, Stanton Island, or Roosevelt Island? 
Okay, looks like everybody's ready. Caprice changing his mind. Now he's ready. Okay, Daniel, we'll start with you. What do you say? Staten Island. Staten Island. What do you think, Keisha? Staten Island. Staten Island. How about you, Capri? Staten Island. Staten Island. The answer we're looking for is Staten Island. Nice job, guys. So that means, Daniel, you have 70. Keisha, you have 70. Capri, you have 60. Very close game. That's the way to do it. Now, we know that Top Grunge is headed north. Greg? So yeah, Chief. Greg, I've got a fax coming in here. This machine is driving me crazy. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, it's from Governor Bruce Sundland. It says... Top grunge nearly ran me down on Block Island. He wants to pave my state and turn it into a parking lot for Massachusetts and Connecticut. I told him to take a hike and a bath. That's good advice, Governor. All right, thanks, Chief. Come choose, name the state that we're talking about. Is it Rhode Island, Vermont, or New Hampshire? Remember the clues that we heard from the facts. Governor Bruce Sundland, Block Island, and borders Massachusetts and Connecticut. Daniel is ready, Keisha is ready, and Capreet is ready. Daniel, we'll start with you. What do you say? Rhode Island. Rhode Island. What do you think, Keisha? Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Capreet? Vermont? You're not sure about that? The answer we're looking for is Rhode Island. Yeah, that's what we're seeing. That's all right. Hang in there, Capreet. You got it. You're right. Very close still. Uh, Daniel, you have 80. Keisha, you have 80. Capreet, you're still in this with 60. Don't worry about that. Okay, so nice job from everybody. That can only mean one thing. It's time for the lightning round. So listen closely. We're going to give you a chance now for you to get some extra crime bucks. What it is, is that I have three questions here. Any one of you that answers any one of these correctly, I'm going to give you an extra five crime bucks. So, hands on the buzzers. Get your buzzer there, Capri. Okay, listen very closely. Here we go. In Newport, the, ol the old stone mill is said to have been built by these Scandinavian seafarers. Was, were these sea warriors Huns, Vandals, or Vikings? Daniel. Vikings. Vikings is what we're looking for. Nice job. Okay. Takes you up to 85 crime bucks. Okay, listen closely. Number two. Meaning divine guidance, it's the name of Rhode Island's capital. Is it Westerly? Daniel. Providence. Providence is right. Good job. You knew that one already. Good job. Takes you up to 90. Question three. Listen closely. In 1636, Roger Williams left the Massachusetts colony establishing Providence. He fled Massachusetts to avoid religious persecution from which European country? Was it France? Keisha. England. England is exactly right. Nice job. Takes up 35. So that means at the end of three, Daniel, you have 90. Keisha, you have 85. Capri, you still have 60. That's Greg? the way. Yeah, Chief. Greg, in my office, it's just facts. Oh, just a second. I've got to go help you. I'll be right back. Uh, she needs me. What's the matter? I can't get it to work. It's. Oh. I'm going to smack it in the right place. All right. Read it to me. Uh, well, you know, it's, it's just. It's just kind of says what it says. Well, it's got to be something. Read it. Okay. Uh, dear Chief, you are a chump. You and your glum shoes still haven't found me or Top Grunge. Catch me if you can. Regards to Acme Slime Net. Signed, Carmen San Diego. And mm -hmm. then it, it, it goes on from there. It goes on. Yeah. What else does it say? Uh, it says, uh, P.S. Nanny Nanny Poo Poo. Nanny Nanny Poo Poo? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's right there. It's right there. Nanny Nanny Poo Poo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That does it. Detectives. <clears throat> The gumshoe who puts Carmen San Diego behind bars will get a free trip anywhere in the lower 48 states. I have had it. You know, Chief, I tell you, I would never call you a chump. I mean, you may have some chumpish qualities from time to time, but basically, a chump, a check. All right, Gumshoe, still a lot of work to do. We're looking for the pits and top grunge. Good luck for us, though. Acme, Crime, Acme Bugnet has just given us this information about a phone conversation between top grunge and Carmen Sandiego. Watch. <laughs> Carmen, uh, I'm cruising the eastern end of the Great Wall. Uh, it's kind of bumpy. Uh, think I'll repave it. They'll be using your rear for retreads if you don't haul your asphalt out of there. <laughs> Follow the wall to Shanghai Guan, where it meets the Gulf of Chili. Then dive in and lay low. But, Carmen, that's water. Don't worry. It'll take more than just a dip in the sea to clean the grime off of you, Grun. Well, I hope you're right. I'd feel naked without my filth. <laughs> Okay, Gumshoes, name the Chinese province we're talking about. Is it Hopei province, Fukien province, Yunnan province? Remember the clues that we heard? Eastern end of the Great Wall, Shan Hai Kwan, and Gulf of Chile. Daniel's ready, Gapreet is ready, Keisha waiting on you. What's the answer? There you go. Daniel, what do you say? Hopi province. Hopei province. Keisha? Hopi province. Hopei province. What do you think, Gapreet? Yunnan province. Uh, Yunnan province. The answer we're looking for is Hopei province. Nice job, Daniel.
Okay, Daniel, you, that brings you up to 100. Keisha, 95. Gapreet, 60. Okay, for our next clue, it's time I for us now. I'm really of hearing your <laughs> horrid voices down there. That seems to be our upstairs neighbor, Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger. Come on, let's go. The Hi. smelly motorhead has taken the pits to the city with the highest traffic density in the world. It's currently a British crown colony, but it's going to be returned to China in 1997. Now catch him and cease your chatter. Thanks. You're a doll. Okay, Gumshoes, name the city. Is it Hong Kong, Macau, or Shanghai? Remember the clues that we heard. Highest traffic density, British Crown Colony. Looks like everybody's ready. Daniel, we'll start with you. What do you say? Macau. Macau. What do you think, Keisha? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. How about you, Gapri? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. The answer we're looking for is Hong Kong. Nice job, Keisha and Gapri. So that means, Daniel, you have 100. Keisha, you have 105. And Gapri, you have 70. Nice job, guys. That's the way to do it. I wonder who would knock that slow. Let's, uh, let's go check on this. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh. Hello. Look at this. Look who's here, huh? Hey, Chief, uh, you speak a little turtle, don't you? You want to translate for us? Uh, well, actually, that's a tortoise. And, uh, yes, I do speak tortoise. Uh, well, hold him a little closer. Okay. okay. Um, oh. Says his name is Rex. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, Oh, yeah. And he saw Top Grunge. Top Grunge hauled the tar pits off the coast of Spain to the Balearic Islands. And, oh. Oh, Grunge is getting perilously close to the Spanish royal family's palace in Palma. Oh, oh well, thank you, Rex. And cowabunga to you, too, dude. <laughs> Great. Okay. Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Rex. See you later, dude. Take it slow, bub. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rex, let's hear it for him, shall we? <laughs> Bye, bub. Okay, gumshoes, name the island that Rex was talking about. Is it Menorca, Mallorca, or Ibiza? Remember the clues that we heard? Balearic Islands, Spanish Royal Family Palace, and near Palma. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Hold it up here so I can see it. Capri, are you ready? Hold it up there for me, okay. Uh, Daniel, we'll start with you. Uh, yeah, what do you say, Daniel? Ibiza. Uh, Ibiza. No, okay, uh, Keisha? Mallorca. Uh, Ma Mallorca, okay. Capri? Oh, no. Ibiza. Ibiza, okay. No, the answer we're looking for actually is Mallorca. Nice job, Keisha. <laughs> okay, so that means... Daniel, you have 100, Kisa, you have 115, and Capri, you have 70. Nice job, Gumshoes, that's the way to do it. Now, it is now time for the final clue of this round, which means it's time for you to make a decision. It's time for you to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Now, take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think top grunge is headed. If you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, you may not want to risk quite so much. So take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, it looks like everybody's made a decision. Nice job, guys. Now, unfortunately, it looks like we've lost Top Grunge again. Right so I... in my office now. Oh, yeah. Okay, Be right with you. <laughs> That's better. Thank you. I ah. know where he went. <laughs> How come you always doing that to me? Because I can. Okay. Like I said, I know where he went. How do you know that? He stinks to high heaven, that's how. In fact, a colony of penguins just outside of Punta Arenas are catching a whiff of him right now. So head for the Straits of Magellan and corral the creep. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, you know, by the way, do you know who's going to win the Super Bowl this year? Just do your job. Okay, okay, sorry. Thanks a lot. Oh, and Greg? Yeah. Go away. Yes, thank you. Thank you. All right, gumshoes, name the country that we're talking about. Is it Antarctica, Chile, or Argentina? Remember the clues that we heard from the voice? Colony of penguins, 
Punta Arenas and Straits of Magellan. Come up with an answer and lay it down in front of you there, and we will go from there. Okay, everybody got it? Okay, Capri, you have 70 crime bucks. Before you give me your answer, how much did you risk? Well, I risked 50 crime bucks. 50, okay, went for the whole thing. What, what answer did you give? I, I did Antarctica. Antarctica, oh, I'm sorry. That's not the answer we're looking for. You're going to go down 50 crime bucks down to 20 then, okay? Daniel, you have 100. Before you show me what your answer is, how much did you risk? I risked 20. 20, this will take you up to 120 if you're right. What'd you say? I said Argentina. Argentina, oh, tough break. That's not the answer we're looking for either. Keisha, you have 115. How much did you risk? 10. 10, okay, so if you're right, you'll go up 10 more. Okay. What'd you say? Argentina. Oh, tough break. You'll go down 10 that way. But everybody's wrong. The answer we were looking... I know. Yeah, I know. The answer we were looking for there was... Okay, all right. The answer we're looking for is Chile, but Daniel and Keisha, you're going on to the next round anyway. Good job. <laughs> Capri, listen, man, you were a great detective. Did some great stuff for us. Thanks for being with us today. We have some of the great kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief? It's the official Acme Crime Map Travel Kit, and it includes a World Traveler's Atlas, the official Carmen Watch, a Carmen Sweatshirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And our thanks for your good work on this case. Dupreet, I salute you. Thanks, guys. Okay, now it's time for you to go to Chile to try to come up with the Tar Pits and Top Grunge. Your job is to go find them and bring them back. But I want you to know, we did not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? Here's the lowdown on Chile, South American country, founded by Spanish colonists who conquered the native Mapuche Indians, achieved independence from Spain in 1818. And the boys down at Photo Recon have put together a few slides. And start your search in Santiago, the nation's capital. Presidential Palace. In a 1973 coup, President Allende died here when the palace was bombed. Atacama Desert, driest desert in the world. There are areas where it's never been known to rain. Fits in perfectly with Top Grunge's approach to personal hygiene. Look for him here. Now here's an Acme Chilnet expedition exploring Chile's southern fjords. Glaciers, snow, some of the world's stormiest weather. It's a good place to hide the tar pits. Easter Island, home of the Moai, gigantic statues which guard the coast. Now, no one knows how the islanders moved or raised them. Top Grunge may ha hide out here. Nearest inhabited land is 1,200 miles away. You know, these statues remind me how much I loved sculpture. You know, when I was a little chieflet, my cousin Wafer and I used to make clay sculptures. We'd always ask our Aunt Powder Sissy to tell us whose was better. They're like apples and oranges, she'd say. I can't compare. Now, no matter how much we begged, Aunt Powder Sissy never said which she liked better. Well, a few days ago, for old time's sake, Wafer and I got together to make clay sculptures and, well, hmm? of course, you see, mine is better. As you can see, there's detail that is not apparent here. Now, if you look very close. Oh. Uh, by the way, top grunge and the tar pits are in Chile. Move out. But if, if you look very closely, you will see the detail and lifeline. OK, guys, here we are in Chile. Lay your stuff down right here, if you will, please. Take a walk right over there. Let me show you what we have. Here are the locations where you might be able to find top grunge, the pits, and a warrant for grunge's arrest. Now, what you have to do first is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get the warrant. With the warrant, you can arrest the crook. Connect all three of those, the loot, the warrant, and the crook, in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in the lower 48 United States. Now, one more thing. You can pick any one of these locations you want to, but if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Keisha, you're ahead at the end of the last round. We'll let you go first. Um, Plains of Patagonia. Plains of Patagonia. Nothing there. Daniel? Downtown San Diego. Downtown Santiago. Nothing there. Keisha? Atacama Desert. Atacama Desert. Top Grunge! <laughs> Top Grunge is there. Remember, he's the last one you gotta find. Use some strategy. Go ahead, Keisha. All right, Rahu River. The river. Go ahead, nothing there. 
Daniel. Vine vineyards? The vineyards. Oh. Nothing there. Keisha. Um, National Park? The National Park. Nothing there. Daniel? Southern glaciers? Southern glaciers. Nothing there. Keisha? Presidential Palace? The Presidential Palace. The warrant. Now that's the warrant. That's the one you need in the middle. Use some strategy. Go ahead, Keisha. Plains of Patagonia? Plains of Patagonia. Nothing there. Good strategy. Daniel, go Lake ahead. Lake District? The District. Lake District. Nothing there. Keisha? Chanchi Pier. Which one? Chanchi Pier. Okay. Nothing there. Daniel? Maypool Ca Canyon. Maypool Canyon. Nothing there. Keisha? Um, Easter Island. Easter Island. Nothing there. Daniel? Copper Mines. Copper Mines. Gotta be there. Gooey Tar Pits. Good job. There's the Tar Pits. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Presidential Palace. Presidential Palace. The That's two. Can you find Top Grunge? Atacama Desert. The Desert? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come here, Daniel. Oh, stay right there, Keisha. Stay right there. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Nice job, Daniel. Uh, there's one more thing you need to do now. Now that you got Top Grunge, pull on this chain, put him in jail. Top Grunge! Put that up here. Listen, we're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit, but in the meantime, Keisha, you were a great detective. You tracked Top Grunge all the way to Chile. We've got some great stuff for you. Chief? It's a pocket translator for instant translations of 14,000 words and phrases in 10 European languages. Nice work, Keisha. Okay, Daniel, I uh, have a little paperwork for you to do, as most detectives have to do. Open up this portfolio. There's a pen inside. What I want you to do is write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip. And he already knows, because he's already writing. Oh, nice choice. <laughs> didn't take you long, right? Yeah, that didn't take you very long at all. So you know what you wanted. You went for it. You've had a good day so far, right? You got the tar pits back. You got top grunge. There's only one thing left for you to do. It Okay, can you hold on to this for just a second, please? Get this phone call. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Yeah, it's right here. Hold on. It's for you. Hello? <coughs> it's a dirty trick, me being at the joint and Carmen on the loose. <coughs> Look for her in Asia. <coughs> okay. Okay, looks like you and I are going to Asia, pal. Chief, what do you say? Daniel, here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Turkey. Jordan, Iraq, Kuwait, Pakistan, China, Nepal, Laos, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, South Korea, the Philippines. I feel good. Greg, take Daniel to the map. It's all about here, dude. All right. Oh, you got a little uh, fan club over there. All right. Listen, this is what it's all about. It's time now for you to track Carmen San Diego through seven different countries, identifying each country with a marker. If you're right, you'll hear this sound. <coughs> but if you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. Ah, uh, yeah. But if you're wrong two times on one question, don't worry about it. Leave it where it is. Leave the marker where it is and go on. But if you're right seven times in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip to wherever you wrote down in that portfolio. Sound good to you? Yes. <laughs> sound good to you guys? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. All right, now, I want to show you this uh, continent here is a little wider than normal, that, than the ones we normally have here. So I just want to show you exactly what we have. Over there is the Mideast. Here's the Southeast Asia. And over to your left is the Pacific Ocean that way. Okay? You ready to get started? Yes. Let's go do it. Cheer them on, guys. Here we go. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Cheer them on, folks. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Carmen went to Jordan. No, that's not it. Try it again. That's not it. Is that too wrong? Come on this way. Come on, Daniel. Come on, come on, come on. South Korea. Come on to South Korea. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Come on to the Philippines. The Philippines. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on to Kuwait. Kuwait. That's it. Come on. Come on to Vietnam. Vietnam. No, try it again, try it again. No, try it again. Come on, come up here. Turn on to Pakistan. Pakistan. Did you get that one? No, that wasn't right. Ran out of time. Only 3 45 seconds. Give him a hand, folks. Come on, Daniel. 
Come here, dude. Tough break, man. I tell you, sometimes karma is just tough to catch. But you had a good day anyway. You got top runs. You got the pitch back. That's not bad. What do you think, Chief? Well, Daniel, we're all proud of the good work you did throughout the day. But we here at headquarters, well, we pitched in and we purchased a portable CD player we thought you might enjoy and a selection of CDs from around the world. Hey, that's not bad, right, CD? You can use that, right? All right, listen, I know you've been working for, hard for us all day. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Let's do it. Do it rock and tell us. Sneaks around the world from Korea to Carolina. Then he makes a duck shop from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on a slow bus to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul in South Korea. Tonight at 8, soar high with the ace flyers of the Canadian Air Force. Leslie Nielsen hosts a salute to Canada's magnificent snowbirds. Then at 9, see how Canada's 20-year experience with national health insurance has worked as Walter Cronkite hosts Borderline Medicine. At 10, Alberta's Kurt Browning shows his Olympic skating talents in Tall in the Saddle. Quality shows during Canada Week on 56. Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Tell me. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where could she be? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? This is Lynn Dickkin speaking for Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? See you next time. This program was bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.